people ask me all the time, like how I take all my photos and they all think it's professional cameras. Everything you see on my Instagram, in my personal Instagram or in my food Instagram, it's all through my iPhone, not a professional camera. It's so funny. I get so many people who start a food page and they always say I inspire them to start a food page and they all go out and go to Best Buy and buy like a DSLR, you know, like a cheap one or whatever and use the kit lens and things like that. And they always say, why isn't my photo coming out like yours? And I'm like, you know, I use an iPhone for (laughs) all my photos. And they always say, use an iPhone? I'm like, yeah, you have to still understand lighting. You have to understand lighting. You have to understand editing. You kind of have to understand composition. Just because you go out and buy a professional camera doesn't make you a professional photographer, you know? And I'm sure you we're in a like you're in the youtube world and people always when i watched even like casey neistat videos or even like yours they always want to know what they're using like for they think that if they go out and buy a two thousand dollar camera you know macbook pro and all this stuff they're automatically going to become an amazing youtuber or something but it's all about content and editing and all that stuff the process Mm -hmm. there's a lot of work in between your uh, your tool and to the end results you know i use like four editing apps on my phone just to get one photo and i think that that iphone look actually helps a lot on instagram it's it's funny because when i even one time i might have posted something from my dslr and it just doesn't get the likes and the comments when i post something like just holding something right in front of me, putting a camera right yeah. in front of this giant burger, and then people just go nuts over it, right? <laughs> it's too polished sometimes. Exactly. It's more organic and that. I read something like that, that uh, inst- like iPhone and just phone camera pictures just do yeah. better right on Instagram. It does. Even when I'm scrolling and I see something that is just not so polished, like you said, I actually gravitate toward that more than anything yeah Yeah. i think it goes to like being natural on the platform like if you're on twitter you're gonna make funny tweets or something and that's gonna do better if you're on iphone or if you're on instagram mobile pictures are gonna do better Mm -hmm. than like you know graphic design or colorful yeah is that yeah and that's actually you you know you hit it on the head is um you you got to know what your platform is all about. So if you're on Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, YouTube, you kind of have to know uh, what kind of is popular for that platform, right? So like even on Snapchat, I love doing Snapchat <laughs> so much. And I just know in Snapchat, it has to be kind of funny and it has to be um, quick because you only get 10 seconds. So you kind of have to like know what your platform's all about and kind of concentrate on that. 